Zona Alpha is a small-scale skirmish war game by Osgrief Games. It is a very simple, miniature agnostic rule set and a low entry cost to start playing. The theme of the game and the artwork is that of the Soviet Union Russian Federation world where freebooters and adventurers conduct raids into a zombie and mutant infested exclusion zone to recover items as salvage. Think of Sverdlovsk 19 or Chernobyl gone really wrong. It can be played as one-off games, but really shines as a campaign game where you can build your crew and work your way to a rich retirement. In part one of our series on learning to play Zona Alpha, we are going to discuss what you need to start playing. You will need eight things to play. A gaming area. The game recommends at least a 3x3 playing surface for one-on-one -on -one games. For games with three or more players, you should go to a 4x4 or 4x6 area. Dice. It's always dice. It is recommended each player have four d10s per player and at least one d6 for the zone effects table. Tape measure or ruler marked in inches and a laser pointer if you'd like to avoid discussions on line of sight. Appropriate terrain that fits the background theme you are going for. At the bare minimum, you are trying to break up lines of sight to make maneuvering matter. Tokens to track a model's game state on the board. You need to keep track of activated, alert, pinned, and wounded states. So that means you'll need four different tokens. You can use anything you want, but we will be going with the Necromunda tokens as we've already have them. You should also have a token or other way to make it clear if there is an objective on the table. Templates. For templates, you'll need a 5 inch large blast template, a 3 inch small blast template, and an 8 by 3 inch teardrop flame template. There are various vendors who sell these types of templates, but we will stick with our Necromunda set. You will also need a turn counter, as Zona Alpha missions have a turn limit. You can mark it on paper or use a dial, but we are going to use a single die. The most important thing you will need for games of Zona Alpha are the miniatures. You can always use salt shakers or bottle caps, but that isn't any fun. As a miniature agnostic game, you can use anything you want to capture the look of the zone crews and zone hostiles. For the crews, you'll need around 4 to 12 models. I'm going to use my Spetsnaz team from my Spectre Operations games and my Anvil Industry team, which as a build-to-suit squad has all the wild weapon options for sale you will need for the weapons that you can find in the zone. For the zone hostiles, as in other games, I'm just going to use my WizKid minis and maybe some of the Poxwalkers from Games Workshop. These author's intent was what you see is what you get. But remember, Osprey Games has no rules enforcement division. While Zona Alpha was designed with 28mm in mind, the author advises that you can play at the 15mm scale and just switch from inches to centimeters. Thank you for joining us, and in part two of our series, we'll discuss the basics of Zona Alpha.